Now let's move into this week in comics. And for this version of this week's in, this week in comics, I'm going to talk about the Amazing Spider-Man Civil War number two, Gods of War Civil War number two, the Flash Rebirth, Wonder Woman Rebirth, and Aquaman Rebirth. All right, well let's go back to the top and start with. Amazing Spider-Man Civil War number two, and I also got a variant cover for this. Something I can never resist the really cool variant covers. They're only a dollar more, and it's just they're they're really cool. So I, I like to pick them up. Um, and like I said earlier, if you caught this, um, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, hands down. I grew up playing his video games, watching his cartoons. I grew up on the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, the first two, some of the best superhero movies ever made. And he just, over time, has became my favorite character. And I'm just a big kid at heart, and I love how Peter, Peter Parker is just a kid among all these giants and gods and superheroes. So it's really awesome. So going into this, I, I really was hoping to love it, and I really did like it. It's very small, and it's the first issue of the Civil War II Amazing Spider-Man run, so I don't blame it, but it's it's um it's a very small scale, but it I love it really ties into the Civil War II storyline. And I reviewed Civil War II last week and I did a sport little spoiler talk. You can go check that out on my channel. But I I really enjoyed how much he's very connected to this Civil War II storyline. And you'll know what I mean if you read Civil War II and this. So I really I think it's something that you should check out if you're interested in the whole Civil War II plot. There's a lot of Civil War II comic books coming out. Like each character is getting or each group or individual character is getting a Civil War II comic, but Sometimes you can't read all of them, and I'm not going to read all of them, but there's certain ones that I think are necessary to read, and I think The Amazing Spider-Man Civil War II is one of them. Um, I like it because he's an older Peter Parker as well. I don't know how old he is. I haven't been reading the Marvel run up to this. I just started reading it, but I'm pretty sure he's like at least 25. He's older. He's not the 17-year-old Peter Parker, and something to show that is he has his own company. He has Parker Industries. And it's really cool to see Peter Parker in a position of power. And he's kind of like a young, very different, but young Tony Stark. And I know Tony Stark is one of his heroes, one of his mentors. So I really like that aspect that he owns his own company and he's in charge as well as being a superhero. So yeah, I absolutely love Amazing Spider-Man Civil War 2. It has that Spider-Man humor, a little bit older Peter Parker who's in charge. Really check it out, I think. You should if you're a Spider-Man fan. 